Well, here at the bend, seat pouring time. So, it's not too often you get to be able to have a chance to get your seat poured in a brand new car. Never had a brand new race car before, so this is my first time I've seen it. What's happening, boys? There you go. <laughs> Whose car is this? It's yours. Holy f it looks crazy, huh? Huh? And they're fun driving. Huh? Mate. There's Hayden, he's in charge of me, I hope. This is hard work. Yep. Put your legs where you want them because it will start feeling up. Probably there. You happy? Your eyes are pretty good. Yeah. So here we are. I don't know, how long are we doing this for? An hour? Over an hour? Uh, 40 minutes. Just done the legs. Uh, it takes a while. And as you can imagine, pretty important seat positioning. This thing sits a lot lower than my other car. Got the halo, something different. Bit of extra safety. It's probably what got me the car, to be honest. I'll uh, see, hopefully it never gets used. Because if it gets used, that means someone's going over the top of my head. And hopefully I'm not upside down. <laughs> Two hours, three hours, seat four. Hayden, the master. Is. So we just did a seat pour. So you mix polystyrene foam and polystyrene foam, it's the different ones, so the different colours. That makes this foamy. So when it goes in, it's liquid, but can you touch it? Yeah. Yeah, like it goes all around, it goes around your body. So you have to try and sit the position that it's in. So you put it in a garbage bag like, or multiple garbage bags. You do around the legs and where your butt, arse is, back, and you just put it all through. So you don't want to move at all. So now we're just getting the feet positioning right for the pedals, because probably a little bit, I'm a little bit short, so a couple of, maybe an inch or so. And then, and I think that's it, but it's hard work, I feel like I've done a workout. Mate, look at this, mate. Hayden, he's possibly the best, best, uh, he's possibly the best pit crew guy here. Is that true? JJ reckons you should leave. Me, yeah. Yeah. Best here, look at this, mate. He has come up with an absolute masterpiece. He's trying to hurry up because... We, JP's busting his balls. Because there is a very small chance we're gonna get one hour for a little bit of a shakedown. So pretty exciting. Like, look at that. Check out the lines of that seat. Check out the lines. <laughs> hey, Ollie, f you. Okay. Seems pretty good. First uh, drive in the uh, Wolf F1 Mistral. Power, man. Power comes on so good. And it's turbo. Nothing beats the sound of turbo. I was probably the big driver of getting this one. So I wanted turbo. Like. <laughs> Amazing. So a couple of weeks ago, somebody replaced the tyre. Um, got it back to the warehouse, bit of a drama. And uh, then Lincoln's like, no, no, don't do all four. F***ing. And I said, no, just do all f***ing four. So here I am, the side of the road here in Tail and Bend. Nice, pretty place right next to the road. And luckily enough, a few hours later, thanks Lincoln, this wonderful man here, has come through and replaced it with a spare, so you can you borrow the tire and then give it back once you get a spare. So there you go, Tesla roadside assistance, a lot better service than the last Tesla roadside assistance I got, um, which was no assistance, but 
Uh, this is far better and this is like a 10 out of 10 for roadside assistance for Tesla. This is a big step in the right direction for you, Tesla. Big step. Ooh. Ooh.